Hi, this is just to showcase uh, the new AmpDroid 1.0 pre-release version running on my uh, HTC Desire Z phone, um, Gingerbread 2.3.3. So as you can see, the uh, the layout um, changed a bit. It looks different. Uh, I'll go through each individual function. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go through TV, and we can stream. So I'm going to go to Electronic Program Guide. As you can see, it's loaded up all the channels on the server there. So if I select Entertainment Tonight there, I've got the option of recording, um, streaming it to this device, or playing it on the PC. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go stream. Uh, you can change the settings here. Um, I'm just going to change it to a low setting just so it'll play quickly. So give it a few seconds. My server's a bit old and slow. It, it takes a little bit to because it compresses it on the fly to be able to then stream onto the phone. So get if the faster your server, the the quicker this will be. <coughs> so as you can see there, that's live streaming. There we go. If we uh, landscape it. That's live streaming and currently on TV at the moment. Cool. So I go back. That was just and then. The other option is you can see on if I hit play on TV or on PC, sorry, you'll see it um, loading up on the PC there. There you have it. So it's running. So that just shows you that it's playing. Okay, so yeah, and obviously if I hit record, you'll see. That it records. There we go. So if you see in the top left there, it just um, active recording. There it is. It's recording. Cool. So we'll just let that run. If I go back, uh, obviously that it just loads up all the channels. These are just all the free to air channels that I have where I'm at. Uh, I don't have anything scheduled, but that's what's currently recording. The other thing is um, programs that are, have been pre-recorded. <coughs> so, for instance, I pre-recorded that. This, again, you have the same options. In this case, um, I'll stream it to uh, here, and I'll show you that um, if you use the internal player, um, you can actually seek as well. And so, um, just while that's pressing. There we go. So if I tilt it over, you get full screen. Get that to go off. So that's recorded a few weeks ago, Australian Open. I'll show, um, I can seek it, fast forward. Again, just give it a little bit while it uh, seeks. There you have it. So you can seek. Alright, I'm just going to go back, that was just to, to show that that works. So that was the recordings. Um, the other thing we have here is the movies. That um, plugs directly into moving pictures, so this is pulling off the moving pictures database that I have. I've got a couple of demo shows that I've got there. Again, um, select that, we can play on the PC. You'll see it. There we have it. It's um, streaming on the. My name is James Gale. There we go. The um, the other option Monday, again is to stream. Hi, I'm Seth Capaldi. So I'm the director right of the film. Okay. Take you for. Take you for. Take. Again, give it a few seconds to uh, compress. There you have it. If I spin it, there you go. That's um, streaming off the server there. Okay. And uh, you can download it onto the device, which I'm not going to do because it's quite large. Um, <coughs> again, um, the other option is to 
long press and then you get all those same options a couple of little different ones details which is the same so many ways to do it the other one is uh, this series one is plug straight into the my TV series database again it works exactly the same as the um, moving pictures one except it breaks it up into episodes so you can click it across again play on PC you'll see it load up on the PC over there there you have it um, what I'll do now is I'll stream to this device just to show that it does work there we have it again obviously spinning around all good the other option is if you don't want to have to go through all that you can long press these and then you get obviously there you can't stream because it doesn't know which episode to stream but if you long press there you get all those options okay so videos, my videos is pointed to the same database as movies um, the other one you have on here is music I don't really use this a lot but as you can see you can't stream with music but you can actually um, tell it to play on the uh, PC there so but essentially you have a lot of control there we go okay so the last thing on here, the also very important, is the remote control. So I'm going to go through the remote control. What you'll see, <coughs> the really cool thing about the remote control is as you scroll up and down, you can see how it says trailers up there and on the, on the uh, media port itself. So it actually tells you, like I'm looking at videos, plugins, whether, as you can see, that's pretty cool. So what I'll do is um, I'll select and uh, just a basic remote control well it's not basic it actually can do quite a lot of things but um, load that up you can see it'll it's press play and it even tells you on here do you want to resume that's pretty cool yes no cancel I'm just gonna go yes and um, it'll resume there you go um, and down here what you do if you select that Put a volume control there so I can control the volume. You see it on the screen. Um, I click again, then you got the fast forward. So I can Unpause. Or if I long press the pause, it actually stops. Um, click that, goes back down. That's information it brings up, information about the show, obviously. There is the options here are also on the screen. Pretty cool. Um, that's just a home button. Takes you straight back to the home. And um, <coughs> that's information, but uh, I don't have anything on there at the moment, so we'll leave that. So there you have it. That's um, AmpDroid 1.0 pre-release coming out shortly. So uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching.